and welcome back everybody once again to tj's challenge map number one because that's what i decided to call it because i don't have a better name for it because i made it with nothing yeah whatever uh we did uh, one episode on this of me testing out this very first area but the map has officially been released and so we're gonna play through the entire thing together it's a really short map so it should probably only take one or two episodes i would imagine um, I added this last minute. It's a hard mode, so it turns on natural spawns, um, which, uh, yeah, I haven't tested that out at all. I have no idea how natural spawns are going to affect things. Boop. I'll go ahead and show you guys all the little secrets in the map um, so that if, if you miss something, uh, when you played it, assuming you, you played it, or if you just want to see all the secrets, you will get to see them. I love I love making maps, even though it is kind of exhausting. Uh, even when you do like a really kind of like a lazy map like this one, like this is the funny thing is that I didn't even realize there's like a strawberry jam going on this weekend, so this could technically count as a jam map. Um. I guess I started a little early, but I made it within the within the time frame. Uh, but I didn't really follow the theme, and I didn't really have the jam in mind when I was making it. So, yeah, you guys love black concrete. So there's this thing up here. I don't have any other items on me. Um, well, if you want to know what that button does, you'll have to play the map. It's nothing too amazing. Or exciting or anything uh, but we'll keep it a surprise but just know that there is a button over there and then we got some goodies I think the theme for this strawberry jam is like gamble or something something to do with like gambling or taking a chance something like that um, so in an odd way especially at the start right because you have like four different choices to you know like yeah, choose door number one, number two for your grand surprise, whatever kind of thing. You know, like in the old, um, old, do they still do these kind of shows on TV? I haven't watched regular cable in I don't know how long, but like the little game shows, I, I imagine Price is Right still has to be around, right? I actually had a friend um, go on Price is Right a while back. I think this is when Bob Barker was still doing it. I think, is it Bob Barker or Bob Parker? Whatever. The old guy, who no longer does it. Um, and he actually won. He won a bunch of stuff. He won, like, a trip, and I forget, like, a TV. He he won a, a few different things. But that's kind of the idea here, right? Is we got to choose which door we want to go through, and then we get, a, we get a prize. Something like that. Let's just go ahead and grab all this gear. I wanted to make sure to provide enough gear up front in case you have more than one player... And also because uh, I imagine people might die a lot in the map. Okay, so we'll do any, many, 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 any, many, many, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any, many, many, mo. Okay. I want to say, I forget which one we went down last time we played. I think we did go down that one, right? Let's go down this one then. Maybe? Hey, nope. Oh, and everything is working. <laughs> I've uploaded the map now like five times because each time I forget something. Um, gosh dang it. Wood swords. And so, yeah, you know what we're going to do actually? Um, is some of that. Here, let's do that actually. And we'll destroy it once we get back inside. Like so, and then we should be able to kill this guy on our own. Okay. Fantastic. I forget what I was saying now. What was I saying? I have no idea. I also got to remember that this pickaxe has a slight speed buff on it. There's tons of items in the, in the map that have the speed buffs because, of course, that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. No! Gosh. Dang it, man. Okay. Well, let's just try to avoid... The rest of the silver fishies here. Uh, yeah, sure. We will investigate in this. How do I keep missing you guys? Gosh dang it. 
is really annoying. Thankfully, they seem to be trapped on the other side, kind of, sort of. Oh, no. Okay. And one more. Nope, one more. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and light that up. And then we're going to go... We're going to go back. So that we can... I love I love little hallway combat like this. I think this makes for some of the best combat in Minecraft, and it's so basic. I'm starting to regret putting these silver fishies in the map. But they are functioning as intended. I feel like I was talking about something that I totally lost track of what I was talking about. The pressure plates are purely for the psychological warfare. And then you realize, okay, none of them are actually trapped. He's just messing with me. And then you see the trap chest and you're like, okay, that one's probably not trapped either. And indeed it's not. But what if it actually were trapped? Like there's like a trap within a trap. Oh my gosh, there's a trap within a trap. Run away, run away. So definitely watch out for the traps within the traps. I tend to go a little overboard with the traps. Um, hey, we got a potato. So, yeah. Whenever you're playing my maps, always watch out for the traps. That's going to be very, very important. Moving forward here, let's go ahead and get those guys on. I think I probably overdid it with the loot in the map. Especially early on. But that's okay. That is a quite all right. Gosh dang it, man. Okay, no more creepers. And take a you out. Yeah, difficulty, I was trying to aim for something harder than beginner's paradise, but easier than um Oh, Shadowlands Genesis was the last map that I released. So kind of something medium difficulty. And I would say that I probably achieved that. I had my wife play test it. It's... She made it technically to the end of the first area, kind of, sort of. Oh, look, there's a door here. Gosh dang it. Um. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. Get me out of this room, please, and we're just going to close it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay. Let's destroy you. I don't like having you around, just in case. Yeah, let's get another health potion on the bar. So she died like four or five times in the starting area, which, I don't know, she, she was doing great last time I have had her play, but she got into this habit of kind of... When she was playing with her cousin, kind of just doing a lot of torch runs. Just kind of, and I think it's from watching me. Like, she sees me just kind of run forward, placing torches and stuff. So that's what she wants to do. But then she just ends up getting herself killed, you know? So. Yeah. This is going to be helpful for the silver fishies. But at the same time, we do want to... Try our best to conserve arrows for what's about to come. I did try to kind of limit range combat to some degree. A little bit, maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, everybody come over here, please. And then we're going to go over here to trick your AI, trick your AI, trick your AI. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Get into the door. Okay, we're the door. Oh man, how did that freaking explode? Okay. Um. Oh, this little room is evil, you guys. Maybe I can trap them all in that little thing there, but we need to take out the spawner first. Fantabulous. Up, up, and away we go. Well, when we stop, but nobody knows. Except for. Maybe, okay, there's, there's a zombie in there. 
I am tabulous. I just let them all out, didn't I? Why would I do that, you guys? I have no idea. I have no freaking idea, man. All right. That's... No, no, no. I, gosh, dang it. Ugh. Erg. Ah, ah. Okay. Why am I in here? I have no idea. Oh, it's because we... Yeah. Um, they're going to destroy my armor, man. That's what they're going to freaking do. No, okay, yeah, that's right, you're gonna die. I have no idea why I'm wasting my time with you guys anyways. It's not like there's any more silverfish blocks in here. We can just kill you safely. I'm getting into my own head now, at this point. Or I just want to make it seem harder than it actually is. Um, something blew up, I think. Uh, we'll take that, and maybe the looting. There's a brick. Which I don't think we'll use. Probably want those guys. And the coal. And the choker box. In fact, we're just going to go ahead and put up a lot of this stuff to get it out of our inventory. That way we can fit all the good stuff in here. Yeah. Never gonna run out of wood in this map. Whoa. Anybody know what that's all about? And like... I feel like that might be something like wrong with my computer or something. Okay. Whatever. Let us go back up. No, this isn't the way we want to go, is it? Let's go back this direction. Um Yeah, that was that was very strange. By the way, I made this on 1.16.5 because I could not get the map making server to work in 1.17. And maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. I forget what error I was getting. Oh my gosh. Yes. And hey, look at that. We've come full circle. Let us go back here. And we're just about done with this first area. Uh, No, wrong way. Wrong way. You can actually get through this first area really fast. And I kind of was making the map with speedrunners potentially in mind as well trying to think about things that they could potentially do to, to lead to ex exciting um runs and stuff different paths you can take uh, i don't think there's anything over there and i do see the silver fishies though should hopefully just be able to bypass them maybe all the yummy yummy stuff uh, yep that was indeed a creeper that we just heard like don't do it guy don't do it to me mr. creeper all right we're just gonna block off that direction okay white wool is directly ahead up in the bed rock box there and we, of course, can hear the skeletons down below. Uh, I want to say the spawner's right there. You know, we should probably be using our smite axe here. Would be smart. Okay. Let us get the fire resistance there. Let's get the... Ooh, do we want protection? I think I put my other booties up, so whatever. We'll just put those guys on. And let's put up junk that we definitely do not need. And let's switch to our pocket chops. And maybe get some more of that on the bar, just in case we happen to fall into the lava. Uh, let's back it up. 
and start taking out the blaze here. Oh gosh, all right. One day I keep hearing these creepers over here and it's freaking me out, man. Oh, and the iron bars make it so very challenging to target you guys. Which way you going, Mr. Blaze? Make up your mind, guy. Oh, are you serious? Did we get him? I think we got him. And we got him again. And can we get one more? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yes, Mr. Creeper. How oh, is he not dead yet? Okay, fantastic. We should now be able to simply... Rush the spawner, I'm hoping. And yep, I am following the fun path without. Even placing any of the blocks. Alright, but now, now we're just gonna. Go for it. Kinda, sort of. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I forgot that's not longer my torches. Okay. I probably didn't need the stuff there. The fire resist. I wanted to make sure to get the little feather though, because that's a. Uh... Yes. That is lovely. I imagine that there's another skelly over on that side. I don't see him though. We gotta be careful here because we can update. The lava. And. I just want to have. Decent enough path to work with here. Because as soon as we break that, the lava starts to fall down. And we need to get out of there. Ooh, okay. So in the description, I did say that, you know, I was trying to go for a more old school style map. Hopefully this kind of stuff kind of makes that very obvious. Right, these these types of little rooms were a, a lot. Gosh dang it, were a lot more common in older maps. I felt it would be wise to use a minecart. Indeed, it would be. In fact, if you don't, there's a possibility you could never beat the map. So we're gonna go ahead and use the minecart. That is going to take us all the way to the next area. While also uncovering the mine. I just like explosions, you know? I like hidden secrets and I like explosions. And here I was able to combine both of them. Um, so, monument. Yes, we are here. We can place the very first objective. No fancy command block, fireworks or anything. Just place the objective and... You are good to go. We can set our spawn here. There are beds and goodies for us to utilize if we need to. Little little upstairs library up here. Uh, and then there are a couple of secrets here. <laughs> I did this to kind of be annoying. I thought it looked cool, but then I was like, man, that's going to be really annoying. And I was like, okay, that, then that mean we, means we should definitely keep it, right? I missed those days where it was all about trolling, trolling the player. <clears throat> I know that that can be a little excessive, but stuff like this, <laughs> I think is great. It's like the broken ladders, which I complain about every single time, but that's the point, right? When you want the player to complain. Um, you want them to be frustrated. That's the that's the point of these maps. For some, at least. 
Um, okay. Let's do that, and let's put the carpet back to make sure it looks nice and pretty. And we'll put some lighting down just to make sure it's well lit in here for us. And we still got some smoke particle effects back there, right? There's one secret up here. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Honestly, I this is one last minute change. Before it had, it was a little too powerful, I think. I'll definitely take the TNT, though. Um, the speed buff on it is, right, is pretty... Pretty significant. Oh, no, wrong thing. Of course, it does have the health debuff. But at this point, we are super duper fast and could probably just beat beat the rest of the map. In fact, I bet I could. I bet I could rush to the end of the map right now and beat it in like the next couple minutes. But I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. And... Yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and take a peek out at this next area. But I think then we'll go ahead and call it an episode. Um, gosh, I... This this area was just a whole lot of me with, like, random brushes just kind of putting stuff everywhere. But I I think it didn't turn out looking too bad. It was a lot messier looking. What on earth was that, you guys? This must be some weird bug with like, maybe with the health stuff or something. I don't know. People who know more about the inner workings of the game, I'm sure could explain what's going on to me. I've had the this bug before, but the thing in the, um, in the UI and the furnaces, that was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Except in, like, modded stuff that's playing around with resource packs. That was kind of strange to see. Uh, the objective, you can actually see it right away. I, I was going for, you know, smaller areas. Um, but getting to it is not easy. It could be easy. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to try to make it hard on myself. Um, and there is, there's a couple of little secrets and stuff hidden throughout the room. Um... But yeah, I think that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.